Hi there, my name is Anton, and I will share my experience and insights about computer vision in this video. As someone who has worked in this field for over 15 years, I have had the opportunity to work on various projects with many companies. In this video, I will show you some of technologically advanced projects of its times, and I will tell you how they can be solved today. The main idea of this video is to give you some highlights how this field can look like for you. There are a thousand of different opportunities and thousands of completely different projects. So I just want briefly to show you some examples how task can look like, how work can look like and how this world is look like. The first project I want to tell you about is iris recognition. In 2008, we began our first project, which involved recognizing people by their iris. The original algorithm's patterns for iris recognition was about to expire, so as our course project in university, we decided to replicate it. We were able to achieve comparable accuracy without using neural networks, since they weren't available at the time. We used classical algorithms to solve the problem. First, we searched for the form circle and they compared the low frequency irregularities of the iris. Interestingly, it was our first startup. We sold this in result, but it was like more than more experience than money. The second interesting project is car plate recognition. And it's the big world around this one. Now, there are dozens of ready-made license plate recognition models. You can check out my review articles about this. I will put this in the description. But 15 years ago, it was super complicated. To recognize license plates, we first used hard cascade aids to detect and then character cor correlation through our dataset for final recognition. And there was a lot of algorithms at this time that even doesn't use any machine learning part. For example, for us, it was like car cascades. There was a lot of just algorithms to recognize some boundaries, some lines, and so on. It was an interesting time. Today, the task is more about optimizing for hardware, for example, like rock chip, Jetsons, or so on, or about which open source do you want to use, to run, and how do you want to optimize this? The next project I want to tell you about is hand wind recognition. Uh, all people can be recognized through the wind pattern on their hand, but you can see this only in infrared light. So this project was um, a bit more challenging than iris recognition because most problem was not about like mm, algorithms. It was about uh, to understand which spectrum uh, give maximum accuracy and best statistic, how to deal with different glare on hand, how to optimize the optical part like illumination and so on. And the mathematical part was like super small part of this project. And it seemed that the task hasn't improved much today because initially like all the approaches and all statistics can give pretty good result for this task like initially. Okay, do you know other tasks that could be solved today with old algorithms? And it's a lot of different navigation tasks and 3D reconstruction tasks. One of our project uh, in 2014, we helped prototype our tech Leo scanner. And it was, uh, we were able to run a lot of classical algorithms on Jetson. Uh, this include iterative cloud point algorithm, which include like some ORP and uh, HAR uh, hog classifiers. It was like the different uh, from SIFT and SURC uh, point classifiers. So we just create bag of different points and navigate through them to create like 
correct 3D representation. Uh, in modern condition, it can be done much stable and smoother, but it's funny that even scanner made like 10 years ago can give you around the same image with around the same problems that you can run this today. The next project I want to demonstrate to you is fl fluorography. In 2015 we started to recognize fluorographic images. One of the first projects where we used neural networks and the first our interaction with medicine. At that time the main difficulty was how to set up the tasks. Dataset on the internet suggested classification. Uh, however, we immediately realized that segmentation was the better approach in terms of how we can describe our output and our results. And it turned to be out that it's almost the standard today. The main disappointment was with this project was that it was moved too slowly by making the system earlier than everyone else in the market the company couldn't integrate it at the beginning probably it's because like medicine is super slow but this company they integrated this product like in 2021 2022 so from initial development it was like six seven years and in my opinion it's super slow and disappointing the next task is product recognition and this one is my favorite task i also will put my article about this in the description uh, people came to us with the task of uh, goods recognition in supermarket starting through from 2014 to 2015 but at the time we clearly said we don't know how to do this however we put together a small data set to evaluate uh, this problem and possible solution and in 2015 i was interested in how existing neural networks would work in an environment with uh, many closely spaced items and they work surprisingly badly but I suddenly found Reinspect neural network that was solved this project, uh, this problem. So we trained this neural network for a new customer. I think it was around 2015, 2016. And the result was pretty nice. Also, we on this project, it was first time when we tried to use reidentification neural network for face recognition to reidentify different goods in supermarkets. And it also works surprisingly nice. Since that, I think we repeated the similar solution for different companies like three times. And I must say it gets easier and easier each time. And it's technology like already around I saw it dozens of companies that use it that develop it so nowadays it's like super classical approach but if you want to know more just read my article in the description the next task i want to tell you about is 3d navigation it's pretty funny because 3d navigation it's not a, only about robotics and so on uh, one of such tasks we did was actually about the virtual reality uh, and it was funny like these are super popular like problems and tasks today so with this meta quest uh, virtual headset or with apple new headset but the first headset they were like 20 years ago and when we worked with this task like five years ago there was almost the same algorithm that was used today. The stack of algorithm has not ch changed much, but the hardware and helmets has become much more efficient and powerful. There are like a lot of cameras today, there are a lot of different sensors today, and probably the main bet today is on high quality hand tracking. Of course, now it can be done with a little more efficiency 
with current like, modern transformers, modern temporal components transformer, but it's primarily hardware and production improvement that have been able to make this task possible to run how it's Apple running it today and so on. The next task is about uh, Cherry Labs. It was also mentioned in one of my video. I will give link here in the description. I already discussed it on my channel and one of the super interesting and challenging problem was one shot action recognition. We did this before like three years before uh, this approach became like mainstream and popular. Uh, but so we trained one shot pre-trained neural network and we could like recognize actions, but only one example that we showed to this. And it was super nice. And I already uh, tell a few times like the problems uh, of such algorithms, the main issues with them. It's super interesting, it's super helpful, but such algorithms, they are not for like everyday usage. They are super special for some super special occasion and for super special product cases. The next task is cashless stores. A good example of a task in computer vision uh, that more about combining different neural networks. It's not like one neural network solution for this task. It's about how to extract a lot of different information from a lot of different cameras and how to integrate all this information in one final system, in one final uh, pipeline and to make decision with this pipeline, make some recognition and so on. So I also did a video about this task and in my opinion it's one of the best tasks in computer vision that can show how to integrate a different information in one place. And uh, the final task I want to tell you about it's robot navigation. And I will not tell you about like leaders or some modern navigation, I just want to mention that even such like usual task that there was a, there is a lot of different solution about it can be solved with completely different approach. You can navigate your robots not through lidars, not through like maps. You just can for example recognize all trees around you or for example rows in the field uh, or for example you can solve this task by using modern pre-trained networks to extract some features and for example this video i'm showing now we did a navigation prototype like more than a year ago with these uh, networks so even such like usual task can be solved with completely different approach with different environments and for special occasions. So I hope it was interesting. Uh, after the previous videos, it was a lot of questions and comments about how such neural, how, which tasks there are in this field. So if you want, I can record the next video about this. Thank you for watching. Bye.